started. So welcome back everyone to the second day of Lean Together. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be hosting the first fruit free talks today. Uh, and we start today uh, with Joel Rio, who talks about the, an overview of homology and mapping. Yes. Um, can, can you hear me and can you see my screen? Some black squares on your screen. Yeah, now it's, no, no, it's okay. better. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, Floris, uh, for the introduction and the organizers for the this conference and for giving me the opportunity to speak about uh, uh, trying to speak about uh, an overview of homology in uh, MATLIB. So um, I'm going to speak about what we have in MATLIB and some recent contributions and some future plans. Um, so at least everything um, I'm going to mention uh, may exist at least in some form, um, in some draft form in the, this uh, branch of uh, MATLIB, which is a PR, um, uh, which contains a, a lot of code. Um, so I will be mentioning uh, things which I've started like uh, about six months ago or so about the homology refactor, uh, which was a lot of PRs, basically uh, not just changing the definition of homology in Madly, but also developing the API for it um, uh, so that we can make more, uh, get more applications. And currently I am focusing on um, the construction of the derived category. So very soon we should get at least that uh, there is a, at least one triangulated category we can work with, which is a homotopy category of cochain complexes. Um, and there are some other um, uh, ongoing works, but that, this is my main focus um, now. Okay, so everything, uh, almost everything that I'm going to mention exists in some draft form, at least uh, in this uh, branch. Um, okay, so I'm going to mention different types of uh, stuff that we have in Madlib and that eventually we might want to have in MyTlib. Um, so uh, my first, I'm going to speak about what has been in Madlib already for some time. For example, uh, what did we have, let's say, before the when we started the port or shortly after the port? Then what is or what is soon going to be in MyTlib? Um, and I'm going to mention also what is more long-term, what is going to take slightly more time, let's say uh, six months or, or more or slightly more. Um, okay, so, um, so what has been in Madlib regarding uh, homology? Um, uh, so, so for simplicity, assume that C is an abelian category. Uh, so we have had for a long time already uh, the notion of complexes um, with, and the category is denoted homological complex uh, C for C, the abelian category, and small c uh, is um, it's an information about the indices you want, whether the, your indices are like uh, natural numbers or Z, uh, what are the directions of the differentials. So we can handle all the situations uh, with this single category homological complex. We have had the homotopy category of complexes. Um, so more in a slightly more advanced subject is uh, we already have the definition of uh, left and right uh, derived functors. So if we have a functor that is additive between abelian categories, we have definitions of left and right derived functors. So when you have, for example, uh, enough injectives in your uh, abelian category, uh, using uh, then we have injective resolutions and then applying injective resolution, uh, applying the functor to some injective resolution and then taking the homology, we can define the right derived functors. Currently, it's only a definition, uh, but there's very little API for it, or I would say no API for it. So we cannot do any uh, computation with, with this uh, currently. And in particular, what we don't have is a long associated, um, long exact sequences that are attached to the right functors. And I, I'm going to outline how we can fix that in a not so far uh, future. 
similarly, we have X groups or X modules actually. Uh, these are def currently defined as a special case of derived functors. So the same restrictions uh, about long exact sequences uh, apply to this X group. So we can basically not use X group to do computations so far. But we are going to fix that uh, hopefully quite soon. Um, we so this is more recent development, but since maybe like May or June, we have definition of local cohomology. Um, it was introduced by Emily Witt, Witt and a, a few others. Um, so it's uh, in ring theory, commutative uh, algebra, uh, but it, it relies on X groups. So it's it so far it can only be a, a definition. We cannot make any computation with it. So uh, because of the lim general limitations we have on the uh, X group so far. Uh, the most advanced uh, cohomology theory we have so far is a uh, group cohomology that was uh, entirely developed by uh, Amelia Livingstone uh, already before the port to Linford. And uh, there are more uh, recent developments about uh, computations in uh, low degrees um, and applications to Hilbert 19. Uh, in a field uh, theory, uh, or Galois cohomology, if, if you like. Um, there is something that is not in Madly, but I would like to mention. Uh, the singular homology and the Brewer fixed point theorem by Brendan Siemens Murphy. So, it, um, so of course, it was delayed. Uh, uh, I mean, the, it, it is not in Madly. One of the reasons is that uh, I was completely changing the definitions of homology. So it was basically, for some time, it was just not possible to even uh, start contributing about, uh, to develop new theories. But now there is no longer any obstacle to to reboot, uh, maybe a singular homology and, and um, integrate this into MATLAB. Um, my, my first, and I would like to encourage people to develop uh, uh, singular homology, uh, also simplicial uh, homotopy theory. I think it's, it's important to develop that. Um, my first contribution to MATLAB was a Dolkan equivalence of categories between chain complexes and uh, simplicial objects in any uh, pseudo abelian category. So this is roughly what we, the current status of uh, homology in uh, MATLAB uh, currently. I hope I have not forgotten anything uh, important. Um, so now I would like to mention what uh, is more recent or wha what, uh, which target we can reach uh, quite soon. Um, so quite recently I've introduced uh, tools in order to do diagram chases. Um, so I don't want in any uh, abelian categories. So the homology we can do, the computations we can do, this is not just for categories of abelian groups or modules, but in any abelian category, we, we have a, a suitable API to do diagram chase. Uh, so as in particular, uh, so we already had a notion of uh, tools for diagram chases, which were a type of um, pseudo elements, but um, I wasn't able, it was not, uh, I'm not sure it was uh, general enough or suitable enough for some applications. So the notions I have introduced does not even require introducing um, new types, but uh, I don't, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot enter the technical details. So using these uh, notions, um, I obtained uh, the, uh, uh, I've obtained a version of the snake lemma and I've deduced the homology sequence of a short exact sequence of complexes. Uh, so these results were, it's important to mention that some of these results, uh, actually these two results were already in the liquid and solid experiments which contain uh, many uh, developments about homological algebra. So um, so we can see this may, maybe as a kind of polished version of uh, some of the results uh, that were obtained. And then even though the, um, sometimes it can be, uh, it can be slightly uh, different. Um, so we should have soon the notion of uh, the total complex of a B complex. So this will appear soon uh, in MATLAB, hopefully. Um, so we have had also as a definition the notion of triangulated categories um, as a, one of my targets for quite a certain time has been to develop derived categories. 
So triangulated categories were introduced already uh, a few years, uh, more than one or two years ago. Uh, so for the needs of my project, so I have um, slightly developed, uh, developed these notions. Uh, for example, recently, uh, so it's it's trivial, but uh, to formalize it's a little bit more painful, but I formalize the fact that the uh, opposite category of a pre-triangulated category is pre-triangulated. This is uh, already in my plea. So it's not a serious statement, but uh, it's uh, at least a test of the API. So uh, very soon we shall have that the homotopy category of any additive category is triangulated. Uh, there are still five PRs for pull requests to go before we have it, but uh, it's it's already um, um, in the pull request uh, um, process. And so once we have this, the next target will be the construction of the derived category. And for that, we need um, um, a general localization theorem for the triangulated categories. And this may take a little bit uh, of time. So uh, I have developed a lot of API around the localization of uh, categories. So uh, we know that the homotopy category is obtained as a quotient category. We identify homotopic maps. So the derived category or in general localization is obtained by formally inverting uh, uh, morphisms. Uh, and in that case, we are interested mainly in uh, quasi isomorphisms. So there is some work to some more work to do, uh, some more code to polish before it can be. Uh, we can, I can make pull request uh, for that, but uh, it should take uh, maybe a few months. Uh, I would say at most like three months or or so, maybe before we have the derived category of an abelian category um, in my team. So actually, we we can already define the derived category. The point is to get the triangulated structure. Um, so this will take um, some some time, um, but I already have the code for it. Uh, so then the, the second almost that we have the derived category, we will be able to redefine X groups uh, as a particular case of morphisms in the derived categories. Uh, and so then uh, almost for free, we shall get the long exact sequences. And so we can develop the API of X group. So even if you don't know the derived category, how it is defined, uh, um, the API, uh, there would be some uh, isolation of the API for X groups so that you, you, it should be possible to manipulate and develop uh, community theories uh, based on X group without even the knowledge of the, of the internals um, about uh, derived categories. Um, okay, so, um, uh, so th that's uh, okay. Uh, what we should have soon. So I would like to make some comments about uh, implementation um, because I've mentioned uh, all the PRs uh, that were involved in the um, what we call the homology refactor. So um, so over the last six months, I have done I don't know how many PRs uh, about changing the definition of homology and developing the API. So uh, most of the API is based on the, the notion which I introduced in the uh, liquid and, uh, by the end of the liquid tensor experiment. So I introduced the category of short complexes. Um, so uh, we just have three objects, X1, X2, X3, whichever names they have, and two maps, which suggest the composition is zero. And uh, the idea of the refactored homology API is to attach to such object uh, homology objects. Um, so these are all, uh, many files which are introduced in this uh, subdirectory. So, and then when we have a complex, we can uh, just take the two consecutive uh, differentials and apply it to to that case. Um, so here is uh, so let's assume that I uh, we have a, an homological complex and some consecutive degrees. Um, then we have uh, the following diagram. So we have two, these two differentials and uh, the dif we can define the homology as follows. Uh, so in the API, so we have uh, cycles, which is a, a certain object which identifies to the kernel of the second differential. And then we have, uh, so this, this object injects uh, into uh, this middle object. Then we have an induced map uh, from this uh, object to the cycles. 
And then the co-kernel of this map identifies to the homology. So in this situation, so I introduce only cycles or dually it could be named uh, co-cycles, but we never introduce, we, I don't think there is a need to introduce uh, boundaries or co-boundaries. We are mainly interested in the co-kernel of this map. Um, so that is usual uh, understanding of what is um, homology uh, of a complex. Uh, but there is an equally interesting uh, dual definition. Instead of taking the kernel of the second map, we can take the co-kernel of the first map, first differential. Uh, and we decided to denote that uh, op cycles. Um, and then there is a map to from op cycles. So these are actual, the actual names in the API of all these maps and objects. Um, and then this map, uh, the kernel of this map identifies also to the homology. So this is the situation in, a, let's say, an abelian category. And uh, the, by definition, if you take any category, uh, whatever, if you don't have the abelian category uh, type class, um, uh, you, you can still say that uh, you can define the homology if you are able to produce such a, a diagram where um, certain uh, maps are uh, kernels or co-kernels, etc. Uh, but usually, when doing computation, we, we don't need to provide all of that. We usually need just to understand what are the cycles, what are the what is the co kernel, etc. So we typically we need to understand only what happens on the on the left part or, or on the right part of the diagram. So this is a basic of the, a basics of the API. So it is about attaching homology and cycles and op cycles to uh, short complexes, and then everything relies on that. Uh, the fact that it is a category and it gives some uh, flexibility. Um, so, okay, uh, okay. So then I would like to speak a little bit about uh, more. Uh, so here I would like, to, uh, it cannot be with us uh, now, but I really would like to thank very warmly uh, Joan uh, for all his uh, amazing uh, re PR reviewing work. Uh, is reviewing so many uh, PRs and yes, of not just mine, but uh, I don't know how many PRs of mine he has uh, reviewed. So I really would like to thank him. Um, then the, what is more long term? Um, so as, as I mentioned, a, a main um, target for the next few weeks or months is a uh, construction of the derived category, for which I already have draft code, but I have to Streamline it, streamline it into uh, the PR uh, process. So, what is more long term? Uh, so, um, an important uh, thing is uh, our derived functors, because then we will be able to apply it to, let's say, cohomology or, or cohomology theory or hyper um, and also spectral sequences. So, um, I don't think I have much time to speak about spectral sequences. Um, but basically, I, I have developed uh, a framework uh, based on the Verdier's uh, construction of spectral sequences uh, from uh, objects in triangulated categories and T structures, etc. So this, I, I have a formalization of spectral sequences in any abelian categories. Um, so I, I would, here I would like to mention the uh, very much uh, older but prior work by uh, Floris, who uh, in Lean 2, I think, formalized um, the Serre spectral sequence. So here, uh, at least, uh, I have a machinery to produce spectral sequences out of triangulated categories, etc. So uh, I would like to speak a little bit more about derived functors. So currently, the status of derived functors is that we have the individual derived functors of the right of left derived, uh, le uh, left exact functors or right exact functors, etc. Um, but we still, uh, the API is not satisfactory uh, so far. So, um, so I don't want to, I cannot enter the details, but um, I have formalized a notion uh, that is called derivability structures. So the paper, I'm sorry, is in French, the original paper is in French, by my advisor, uh, Bruno Kahn, and, um, and at some point, uh, office mate, uh, Georges Metznutis, who is a uh, a great uh, category uh, theorists. Uh, so they have developed, they have introduced a notion uh, very abstract, but as 
some very abstract things are, it, uh, it is very easy to, for, to formalize. They have uh, introduced a, a very general framework uh, in order to show the existence and compute the life functors. Uh, so it's very, very general. So, I, but the main thing is, um, uh, then I have, so I have formalized this, uh, I have formalized notions of the life functors um, and these derived structures and the existence theorems uh, which follow. So in, and in particular, I have constructed an injective derivability structure. So you don't need to know what this is, but basically if I have a functor F um, between two abelian categories and if the, uh, that is additive, uh, and if C has enough injectives, I have constructed a, a functor, a derived functor uh, from D plus of C to D plus of C prime. Um, and with some extra work, we can show it is a, a triangulated functor. And then um, we may redefine the, the individual uh, derived functors, which, and similarly as, as the X, you don't need to know derived categories to to understand what is a uh, what are these R and F, but in order to prove some of their properties uh, and some definitions, uh, it's good to have this uh, derived this uh, derived functor on the um, derived categories. Um, so th that's so this is something I have already uh, formalized. Um, so then we shall get for almost for free that if we have a short exact sequence then we can deduce long exact sequences of the right functors and then it it will enable a lot of uh, computations uh when we have this but it will take a certain time because we need the derived category and we need this uh, abstract uh, uh, category theory uh and this uh homological algebra result about uh, injective uh, injective objects and uh, this notion uh can be generalized also to very formally, uh, very easily to functors of several variables. So we may also apply this to, let's say, the tensor product and get, let's say, some uh, associativity property. So the, then the sh we should be able to apply this to let's constructing, let's say, the modoidal category structure on the derived category of uh, complexes of sheaves or, or, or complexes of modules. Uh, and some formulas we should be able to get. So, um, so of course, uh, I'm really I'm only giving some outline here. So I would like to just show some code. Uh, so in this file, um, so I have constructed. Uh, you don't need to know what this is, but I have constructed a, a right derivability structure, and the corollary is that. Any functor from the homotopy category uh, K plus, if C has, a, uh, has enough injectives, uh, this functor has a pointwise right derived functor. So it has a right derived functor in a certain sense. And uh, if I apply this to uh, a functor that is additive between two abelian categories, then I can uh, extend this to complexes and then to the homotopy category and then take its derived functor. Uh, so this is the right derived functor plus. Um, so in a more remote future, we may try to extend this to the full derived category, but that's out of reach uh, now. And then we should be able to define the, um, to redefine. Uh, so we already have this functor dot right derived, but this would be a slightly cleaner definition. And uh, using the fact that the homology functor are uh, homological functors in a triangulated sense, we should get uh, we should be able to enable computations um, um, in uh, in homology, uh, and also have a formalization of spectral sequences. But I don't think I have the time, so maybe I can stop here and leave uh, use the time the remaining time for the questions. Uh, okay, thank you. Are there, if you have any questions, uh, please use the reactions uh, in Zoom, and I already see some questions. Uh, Kevin, can you start? Hi, uh, thank you for the talk. So how, I mean, here's an easy warm-up, is how are you going to state 
uh, that a long exact sequence is a long exact sequence, and then a harder follow up. How are you going to even state the concept of a spectral sequence? Uh, okay, so maybe I can show you. Um, um, well, some related statements uh, which I already have, but um, it should not be very hard. Um, so let's move to category theory. Um, triangulated uh, homological functors. So <laughs> Oh, you're cutting up. I think it's because he's compiling. Can you still hear us, Joel? Maybe turn off lean because it seems to be conflicting. Yes, I do. Uh, do you do you hear me again? Oh yes, now that, we hear you. Uh, great. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um. So sorry. So I have turned off. Uh, Lean. I don't know. Uh, it, it was supposed to be to really be com com compiled. Um. Yes. So um. Well. So there is no issue with uh, the statements. Uh, um. Um. Like like actually for the your precise question about uh. Uh, how to state the long exact sequences. So basically, if I have a short exact sequence, uh, I will have actually three statements, one for the exactness at the middle, one for the exactness on the left and on the right. And that, that's the way I would usually use it. Uh, but if we want to state, like uh, if we want to extract uh, a longer uh, exact sequence of, let's say, like six objects or uh, nine objects, if you want, that we I have developed an API to state um, that we have uh, like finitely many uh, objects which form uh, an exact sequence. And uh, about um, spectral sequences, uh, how to define it? Um, um, so I cannot enter the details, but uh, basically uh, for me, a spectral sequences is just a sequence of uh, pages. Each page uh, is um, what we call a homological complex. Uh, let's typically index by Z cross Z. And you have uh, differentials uh, uh, of different degrees depending on the page you are. And then you can just say that the homology of some page identifies to the next page. That's would, that would be the definition of uh, the category of spectral sequences uh, of a certain shape starting from a certain page, Let's, for example, a E2. And then uh, we, you can formalize that uh, the differentials uh, that the objects the page in each point, in each PQ, the, um, it stabilizes. So you can make sense of the E infinity uh, page. And then when you want to state convergence, uh, you can uh, assert that on a certain uh, stripe, um, or I don't know, how, uh, uh, you have a filtration, you have the graded pieces of a filtered uh, object. Um, so, uh -huh. and, and so I have shown that if we start from, uh, a spectral object um, in a triangulated category and, and some homological functor, automatically we have a spectral sequence. And if it E2 spectral sequence, and if it is first quadrant, then we have a convergence, etc. Thank you. 